Only on Fox tonight, a fishing trip in Bedford County now has the attention of the Sheriff's Department, not because of what was caught. And Bedford County Sheriff's deputies plan to resume their search Thursday morning. More than a year after Nashville flood victim Danny Tomlinson was killed, his family returns to the spot where he died. As Fox 17's John Dunn shows us, they now have a special reason to visit the place where Tomlinson lost his life. Making news in America tonight, authorities say a man killed his kids and his wife and then himself in a bloody murder-suicide in their home in New York. In a gruesome turn of events, the last of the remaining escaped animals in Zanesville, Ohio, has been found. Officials say it was located inside of one of the big cats. Well, coming up, a bad day for trading leads to worries over technology. What dropped the Dow yesterday and could do it again? This comes two months after the fall of Tripoli. Now, Gaddafi ruled Libya for 42 years before the civil war broke out earlier this year. Been lots of fighting in the last uh, few months. Let's get an update now on our weather here in the mid-state. A little bit of breaking news and weather because we got that freeze warning coming in. We do, actually, yeah. The freeze warning uh, issued early this morning, and it looks like, once again, that's really going to take effect tomorrow morning. Times are changing. That was Preston Rudy reporting. Now, federal regulators actually do not require spare tires because they are not considered an essential safety feature. They're back. I'm talking about the AFC South leaders, your very own Tennessee Titans. Thanks, Dan. A lot of uh, Cards fans, you know, in this part of the world, because I guess after Atlanta, that's the next, yeah, that's you know, the next closest team, unless one. it's Cincinnati, you know. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. Who are you rooting for tonight? Despite a pretty rocky record this summer that had many of their fans fearing that the Cards wouldn't even qualify for the playoffs. But as Heidi Glaus shows us, there was never really a reason to doubt the Cards' chances because of one unusual occurrence.